What's going on guys, it's Curse Ranger, gonna bring you a brand new video today, not on Call of Duty, not on Club Penguin, not on RuneScape, but, um, okay, well, it's it's a card opening video, just bear with me, I explain more in the video, I just wanna say, if you guys would like to see more of these, or with a different game, or anything, just let me know if there's certain boxes or packs that you want me to open, just let me know, I'll see what I can do, and, uh, I, I prefer the classic shit, obviously, but just, just watch the video, I explain, uh, pretty much what's going on, so hopefully you guys enjoy. What's going on guys, it's Curse Ranger Dakota, and I'm bringing you a brand new video, and this obviously looks a little different, this little Yu-Gi-Oh setting thing right here. Little background, this is the first ever playmat I ever got, ever, from a Yu-Gi-Oh starter deck, it was a Joey deck, I was in, like, first grade, first ever mat, I found it, it's pretty cool. But why, why, why is it like this? Well, as you guys may know, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering. I've said this a few times. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. I play a lot of Magic the Gathering, so I went to my local card shop after work, and I bought... Wow, can I, like, zoom out? That's pretty crazy. I, I, I bought a little... I bought a Magic box, all right? Just to get some extra cards. Uh, help me build more decks. But if you guys have been watching my videos the past few days, I also need to get uh, new card sleeves, too. But... If you guys have been watching my videos for the past few days, you know that I've been addicted to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links game. Alright, so, I was talking to the dude at the local gaming shop, local card shop, and he was telling me about all the new shit that they added to Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything like that, and I asked him if they still do any of the old things, and he says they release reprints, series, uh, booster packs, and boxes all the time, and that he has a few left, so I went ahead and picked it up, because I thought it'd be fun. You know, I thought I thought it'd be cool just to open a few. So we have Battle Packs, War of the Giants, right here. And basically, from what I understand, these are reprints. The, all the cards in here are reprints. And you have the potential to draw a legal god card. See, I can show you. I'll leave, give you a little example real quick. Hold on. Okay, so what I mean by legal god card is illegal to use in a duel. So obviously you have these guys. These were just kind of collectibles. They're not legal. It says on the card that this cannot be used in a duel. But these were very common. Uh, this is an obvious tormentor, so it has the blue black, the blue back. Obviously, the Wing Dragon Raw had the yellow, and the Slifer had the red. These aren't allowed to be used in a duel. They're just a collector's item. But then you have these guys. Have the effect. And these are legal cards. You can use them in a duel. This Slifer and Obelisk. So as you can tell, I have Obelisk, I have Slifer. I don't have Wing Dragon Raw. You have the potential to draw any of the god cards, legal god cards, out of these packs. I have five packs here. Obviously, I'm going for the Wing Dragon Raw. But it's reprints of old cards from what I understand, so it should just be a nostalgic pack opening anyways. So yeah, I went in there buying stuff to play Magic the Gathering, and I came out with five battle pack to War of the Giant Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or booster packs. So, I mean, I figured it'd be a fun video. I bought them thinking I, should, I could do a video, and I thought it'd be cool. Just a nice little nostalgic pack opening. So, uh, we have two with Obelisk on it. We have one with the Winged Dragon Raw. So, we're gonna start with... Slide for the Sky Dragon. So, open this on up. I haven't done this in so long. Open up Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. This is crazy. So I'm actually kind of excited for this, to be honest. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. We got no entry. Tour bus from the underworld. Super conductor Tyranno. Now I don't know where the rares or the super rares or the ultra rares or the secret rares or whatever are hidden in this. Maybe the next card. Nope. Anarchist monk ranchin. Suki Knight. I guess that's it. That's all commons. So, wow. You're not even guaranteed a rare. That's crazy. So, hopefully, we can pull something like kind of cool from this, I guess. At least one hollow. Let's move on to an obelisk pack. Throw that over there. So, we have Fighting Spirit. Make sure I have this in frame. Card Trooper. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Cree bonds. Alexandrite dragon. I think that's a Kaiba card. Dragon ice. Again, all commons, all commons. I could be wrong. The guy could have lied to me, I guess. But you know, it is what it is. These are kind of uh, classic cards here. 
Not as classic as I would like, but still pretty classic. I have never heard of this card, that's for damn sure. Impenetrable attack. Okay. We got Brain Crusher. Not a bad card, I guess. Beast King Barbaros. Helping Robo for combat. Nice little scapegoat card. You can never go wrong with scapegoat. And that's the last one in that one. We got two more to go. I'm gonna go with Obelis, and then we're gonna open the Wing Dragon Rock. So we got the Forbidden Chalice. Revival Jam. Okay, that's a nice card. Pretty sure that was used by, by Merrick in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Belial, Belial, Marquis of Darkness. I don't know. Seems like a decent card. I'm not going to read the effect, though. Axe Dragonite. I know the changes to defense position at the end of the damage step. We got Miracle's Wake. So actually we have not pulled a rare or a hollow or no rares, no ultra rares, no super rares, no secret rares, no nothing. No god card. Literally nothing. We have pulled nothing out of these four packs. So this is the fifth and the last one. It has the Wing Jack and Raw on it. Can't even open this one. There we go. Uh, so we want to pull the Wing Jack and Raw. So here we got Overworked, The Fiend Mega Cyber, Shard of Greed, I'm pretty sure it's a banned card now, any of the Jar of Greed cards are banned I'm pretty sure, Copycat, that's a classic, uh, is that Joey card, and Blockman, it's a classic um, Yugi card, I'm pretty sure used against the Pharaoh. Well, there we go, we got literally no rares, no, no nothing, not, not even a rare in any of these. But we didn't get bad cards. Uh, not not too bad. Not too bad. I just figured this would be a fun video to make. Fun little opening video. It is the Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants. Uh, I figured it'd be a fun video to do. And I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. I figured it'd be a little nostalgic. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I don't really know. I, I, I had no intention on buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just saw them and I was like... This would be a cool video to make. So let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. I would, I'd be happy to make them. Preferably old cards. I'd, I'd, I'd want to find older boxes, older packs, something like that. I, I don't know anything about the new game really. So just let me know. Uh, if you want me to do Magic the Gathering, I could do that. So just let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you don't like it at all, let me know. But either way, it's been Crazy Ranger Dakota. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Alright, so upon further inspection, I actually did pull some holo cards. I guess I couldn't tell in the lighting. Sorry if you guys caught it. I did not. But I actually did pull some holo cards. Now, I pulled five. I'm guessing one per pack. And they are all the same. They're all mosaic rares, is what they're known as. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm kind of more in the light, but you can kind of see there's little squares in it. These cards are known as mosaic rares. This is a card trooper. I've got one. This is from the same pack, and it's just the mosaic rares that I pulled that I did not realize. I just, the lighting, I just did not realize that they were mosaic rares. So the Fiend Mega Cyber as well. Brain Crusher is one is also. This is the one that I actually noticed first when I was looking back through the cards after I finished. I noticed that this one was. So that looks pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie. I like the art on this card, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Tour Bus from the Underworld is also a mosaic rare. And my personal favorite is the Revival Jam. It's also a Mosaic Rare, so it's pretty fucking cool. I want to go back over that with you guys. I, I I didn't catch it. I guess the lighting was horrible. You know, I was looking for, like, Ultra Rares and stuff. I really didn't know what to expect in this pack. I did not know that Mosaic Rares were in this pack, but that, that's, that's pretty damn cool. My, I think the fav my favorite art would have to be the Brain Crusher, though. That looks sweet. That just looks sweet. But hell yeah, there we go. Those are five mosaic rares that I pulled. Okay, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed. Obviously, it's been a long time since I've opened like Yu-Gi-Oh packs or anything. I just did not really know what I was looking for. But I've been doing a little bit of research and looking up like different boxes and different packs that are like, reprints and classic cards that I would like to open. So if you guys would like to see more of that, I I'd be down. Honestly, I mean this video was kind of fun, and you know it'd be cool to pull something like really really cool. And the classic card is just nostalgia. I don't really know any of the new game anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. So I just, just, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, 
links to my most recent videos will be up on screen after this. If you guys haven't seen those, go check them out. Leave a like if you enjoyed them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Crazy Ranger Dakota. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.